diseases of vanilla so we will see the list of important diseases in vanilla my name is anit shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so these are all the list of important diseases in uh, vanilla root rot which is caused by fusarium fusarium species and as well as sclerotium species stem rot caused by fusarium species bean rot caused by phytophthora species and uh, shoot tip rot which is caused by fusarium and sclerotium and the final one is uh, mosaic which is caused by vanilla mosaic virus so root rot which is caused by the species of fusarium and as well as sclerotium so when it comes to uh, you know symptoms can be seen on uh, two uh, roots as well as leaves so let me see so initially what will happen browning of roots and uh, decaying of roots can be seen if it is infected by either sclerotium or fusarium so browning of roots as well as decaying of roots can be seen when it comes to the upper side i mean uh, on the beyond uh, ground level uh, that is especially in leaves so yellowing of leaves can be seen yellowing of leaves can be seen and flaxed uh, uh, you know shriveling of leaves and drooping of uh, uh, leaves and uh, you know uh, can be seen and drooping appearance you know like shriveling uh, or dieback like symptoms can be seen and especially in leaves so removing of uh, infected roots and uh, you know uh, reducing of mulching so mulching is also one of the uh, uh, reason for this uh, uh, you know uh, root rot that is you know if there is mo more moisture it will uh, uh, prone to infect uh, uh, it can attract the sclerotium so reduce mulching and uh, soil drenching and spraying of plant with 0.2% copper oxychloride at the rate of 2 to 3 liter per uh, uh, plant can be recommended and next one is a uh, stem rot caused by fusarium species here uh, if you see roots leading to rotting and decaying so here let us imagine it is a roots so here the roots are browning of roots and a decaying of roots can be seen when it comes to yellow sorry in com when it comes to leaves so yellowing of symptoms yellowing of uh, leaves can be seen and flaxidity and drooping of leaves also can be observed in stem rot also coming to management uh, so removing of infected plants and mulching along with you know spraying of copper oxychloride 0.2% that is a 2 to 3 liters per hectare as, as usual and bean rot which is caused by phytophthora species so rottening of bean we can see clear brown color discoloration here so clear brown color and uh, light brown to black color or brown color discoloration can be seen on uh, uh, here rotting and shredding of beans so spraying of 0.1% uh, carbondesim or 0.1% bodo mixture uh, in alternatively alternative in a week uh, can reduce this uh, infection of this disease so shoot tip which is caused by the species of fusarium and sclerotium so decaying of shoot tip and leaves at the tip we can see here decaying of shoot tip and leaves at this tip regions so here the spraying of carbon is about 15 days interval can uh, check this disease vanilla mosaic virus so if you see uh, the symptoms of vanilla mosaic virus so mosaic patterns and mottling of foliage so mosaic pattern and mottling of foliage we can see here mosaic pattern mottling of foliage foliage is completely mottled here uh, can be seen and sterility and uh, leaf distortion we can clearly see sterility of leaf because there is no leaf can be seen here right so coming to the management aspects uprooting and destroying of affected plants along with the timely shade management is one of the very very important one so timely shade management is important one and along with that uh, avoid excess uh, moisture as well as allowing free mo uh, movement of air uh, overcrowding of vines also can be reduced and avoiding of excessive mulching uh, especially during rainy season can be avoided and excessive manure application also uh, can be avoided and the use of cow dung can be uh, uh, used uh, and application of uh, recommended doses of bioagents like uh, trichodermus pseudomonas and bacillus species can be recommended and collection and destroying of plant pots that is sold disease symptoms so uh, those pots which is showing disease symptoms collect and destroy it so the last one is uh, rust which is caused by Euromyces jaffroni and uh, as you know we know that you know uh, rust pustules appears on uh, uh, the lower surface of leaves so here uh, on the underside which means lower side of leaves rust pustules can be uh, appears and this leaf coalesces and cause the entire leaf dry and weakening of leaves and later stages the leaves will also fall off but the major important symptom is appearance of uh, orange brown to uh, red color rust pustules on the lower surface of leaf 
so uh, removal of uh, uh, infected leaves and as well as you know uh, you know spraying of some uh, uh, rust based fungicides is very very uh, efficient you know maybe copper oxychloride also can be so the application of appropriate fungicides can be recommended so a vision into plant pathology this was the book which was written by myself and i published it almost four or five months before it is a very very uh, useful book for all graded plant pathologists maybe in ug pg or phd so all kinds of uh, uh, you know uh, related exams this book will be definitely uh, very much useful you interested guys can take a look into it.